Darth Vader comes across somebody he thinks is dead on this week's episode of Star Wars Weekly. Hello fellow Star Wars fans, it's Star Raptor here and back for another comic book review as I do every single week that there's a new release for Star Wars and I talk about other things too like books and video games as well. This week's another big week for Marvel because we have another new ongoing series starting off with issue one of Darth Vader. This is the third volume for Darth Vader and this is part one of Dark Heart of the Sith and the creative team is the writer Greg Pak with artist Ianko and Raphael Ianko and this is all about the aftermath of what happens with Vader in Empire Strikes Back. He loses the chance to train his son Luke Skywalker in the ways of the dark side so he's dealing with his wrath of not being able to have accomplished that so this picks up right during those events he sees Luke Skywalker slipping through his fingers he goes back to his Star Destroyer and gets a team of death troopers and this forensic droid 067 to go out and find who's responsible for swaying Luke's mind to not join him so that takes them to Tatooine where they soon go back and take a trip down memory lane with Anakin Skywalker with the Lars homestead and it's just a really awesome concept of Darth Vader being there not ever seeing Darth Vader in his capacity in this location before in Star Wars and exploring his prior self and this issue does a great job thanks to Greg Pak's writing of intertwining these these moments of the past, seeing him and Padme there and him dealing with his his kind of guilt and his power fluctuations with dealing with the Tuscan Raiders and slaughtering them like animals. The the men and it and the women and the children too. You know, all that stuff is coming back to flood him and it's doing a great it's all put together so nicely with the art by Rafael Ayanka and, and the fact that all these past images are in red. And we're able to see what's going on through Darth Vader's head in that moment. And, and seeing that he's dealing with pain and anger and fear and all these different emotions. For my character, that doesn't speak a whole lot. Because you have this character, this droid character of 067, this forensic droid, which does a lot of the heavy lifting for the dialogue, of course. And we get to the end of this, this story, of the specific issue and he can't find anything he can't find anybody to take his revenge on but then he does get assaulted by these raiders i'm not sure who they are they come down to tatooine and are trying to take out vader and vader just dispatches them like no problem of course perfect vader right then we do go back to coruscant and vader goes and explores padme's apartment that we've seen in revenge of the sith that we've seen in attack of the clones and there they find this tracker and this is where things get really good, guys. They go, they find this tracker, it leads them to this planet. There's a Gungan that's getting killed by these indigenous, uh, tyranid looking characters. And next thing you know, he comes across supposedly Padme. Yeah, she's supposed to be dead for like 23, 24 years at this point, And she's somehow standing there. I have my theory that it could be Sabe, who was her decoy, Back all the way in episode one, The Phantom Menace. If you guys have read Queen Shadow, there's an epilogue where Sabe ends up joining the rebellion in its early stages thanks to Bail Organa. So I think it could be Sabe and we could be getting tricked. Although maybe it is a vision that is being sent out by the Emperor that it's Padme or something like that. Like use some stuff that we've seen in the sequel trilogy, bring it into the original trilogy. That could be also something there but this was a pretty good solid start to another Darth Vader iteration like I said we had two other ones before this we had Charles Soule's run which I find to be the best Star Wars comic stories in canon right now and we also had Kieran Gillen's run which also introduced awesome characters like Dr. Aphra and Black Kersantan and Triple Zero and, and, and BT so that was the story right after A New Hope it's nice that we're getting all these stories for Darth Vader, really, this is the last set of stories we're going to see canonically before we get into Return of the Jedi, and he unfortunately perishes. So, this is it. We're going to get some, uh, I mean, these are looking like these are going to be great stories, especially combining the prequels. I loved seeing all those prequel tie-ins, and the fact that we're getting this crazy cliffhanger leads me to believe that this is going to be a series that you guys will not want to sleep on. So, what did you guys think of Darth Vader issue number one? Do you have theories for who Padme really is at the end of this issue. Let's talk about it in the comment section down below. If you guys are new to the channel, 
I talk about Star Wars on a weekly basis from the comics, novels, TV series, and more. I have you guys covered. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and do hit that notification bell icon so that way you'll be notified when future videos go live. That's going to do it for me, Star Arthur. Thank you so much for watching and may the Force be with you always. Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.